the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video decimal multiplication part 2 so we had already demonstrated how 15.21 can be multiplied with 14.64 usually we treat the numbers as whole numbers and multiply and then finally we allocate the decimal portion in the multiplied value so in that case we treat 1521 as a four digit multiplier and 1464 as a four digit multiplicand sometimes a four digit multiplier and four digit multiplicand when it is multiplied unless proper attention is given there is a possibility that somewhere there may be a problem with the calculation so some children may be comfortable with the smaller multiplicand so is there a way to treat 1464 as two multiplicands yes there is a possibility let us see how we can do that so let us multiply 1 5 2 1 with 14 and 1 5 2 1 with 64 so let us start with the uh, the decimal part now so now let us treat 1 5 2 1 as the multiplier and 64 as the multiplicand so let us take uh, the digit 4 so digit 4 is to be multiplied with uh, 1 now here uh, it is nothing but 4000 now you move it to the hundredth column so that is 500 multiplied by 4 that is 2000 then move it to the tens column that is nothing but 20 multiplied by 4 that is 80 then take it to the unit column that is 4 so the value is 6000 84 now you keep it separately that is 6084 now you go to the number 6 the 6 should be placed in the reference column now so you multiply that is 1000 multiplied by 6 so that is 6000 take it to the uh, hundreds column that is uh, 500 multiplied by 6 that is 3000 and then take it to the tens column so that is uh, 20 multiplied by 6 that is 120 and uh, take it to the unit column that is 6 uh, so the value is 6 uh, uh, 2 uh, 1 and 9 now where the number should be placed uh, as 6 is one column to the left side of uh, uh, 4 so you have to skip one column uh, from the first multiplied value and place the number 9126 below now instead of adding four numbers as in the case of previous example now we are left with two numbers so that means four eight uh, six uh, that is four then one is to be added with uh, three uh, two that becomes three and then uh, 6 and 1 uh, should be added that becomes 7 and then we have 9 so now the tricky part is now let us uh, consider the decimal portion so it is nothing but 15.21 multiplied by 0.64 so how many decimal portions in uh, the multiplicand it is 0.64 that is 2 how many in the uh, multiplier that is 2 so that means uh, we have to allocate 4 points in the decimal portion and uh, 1 in the whole number portion so this number can be kept separately that means you are done with the decimal part so instead of dealing with the 4 numbers you have just dealt with the 2 numbers now you take the whole number portion so that is 4 so you have to keep 4 here so 
what is the value of it 4 multiplied by 1000 that is 4000 and then 4 multiplied by 500 that is 2000 then you bring it to the tens column 20 multiplied by 4 that is 80 bring it to the unit column that is 1 multiplied by 4 that is 4 so that is the number is 4 8 0 and 6 right now let us keep it separately now you go to the last number that is 1 so the number 1521 should be multiplied with 1 and take 1 to the reference column so 1 is multiplied with 1000 so that is 1000 you take it down to the hundreds column so that is 500 you take it down to the tens column that is 20 and take it down to the unit column that is 1 1 5 2 1 now where this number should be placed uh, as uh, the number 1 is uh, to the left of 4 this number should be placed below the first number by skipping the right column so now when we add what is the value it is 4 and uh, 8 uh, plus 1 is 9 and 2 plus 0 is 2 and then uh, 6 plus 5 is 1 6 plus 5 is 1 and then uh, you have to add 1 to the existing 1 that becomes 2 so what happens you know the whole number the total number is uh, 2 1 2 and 9 4 so here it is actually nothing but 15 to 1 multiplied by the whole number 14 so here there are two decimal points so in the whole number you have to put 9 4 as the decimal point portion and then 2 1 2 2 1 2 as the integral portion so what you have got you have got the first number 9.7334 the second number is 21294 so what is the total value now it is 4 4 7 6 and uh, 2 2 2 so the same value you get so what you have got you know let the child explore that is uh, 2 2 2 and uh, 6 uh, 2 2 2 point 6 uh, um, 7 uh, 4 and uh, 4 so this is the number we have got well this is also another method instead of using four digit uh, you can split them into whole number and the decimal point but the only thing is the child should be careful in allocating the decimal portion and the whole number portion once uh, each part is completed when you complete the decimal part you have to put the number when you complete the whole number part you have to you know uh, separate uh, the decimal portion and add so both methods are available whichever is convenient to the child you know the method can be followed in uh, performing the decimal uh, multiplication